I really hope you guys were able to get out and enjoy the sunshine and the well above and record high temperatures today. And even right now, temperatures still right around our normal high for the day. Temperatures across the state line sitting right around 30 degrees, 29 here in Rockford, but dew points are on the elevated side. And if we can combine that with our current winds, which are a bit on the calmer side, well, I have a feeling fog will start to take over the lower parts of our atmosphere. As you can see, winds a lot of places are popping some zeros like Lake Geneva, Janesville, and of course here in Rockford. But off to our west and north northwest, like in Monroe, a little bit on the stronger side. So when it comes to fog overnight, well, we can check a lot of these off the list. As our dew points are elevated, giving us the moisture, we have light and calm winds, and we do have mainly clear skies. So think overnight tonight, fog is definitely a possibility. I think it's going to be more of in the patchier fashion, not overly excited for widespread dense fog, but I think most of it's going to stay more towards the east over Lake Michigan, where a lot more moisture is to be found. However, we do have an overnight low of 26 degrees, so any areas that do see any sort of fog could see some slick spots as freezing fog becomes a concern. Luckily though, as we head towards the afternoon tomorrow, we're looking for another beautiful and gorgeous day, especially for a February seeing bright sunny skies. As you head into Monday night, well, clouds make their return and a few more pockets of some patchier fog, but I really think those are going to clear up by the time we get towards the afternoon on Tuesday. Do have clouds to start off our Tuesday, but by the time we get towards the afternoon, we're looking sunny yet again, and you want to enjoy tomorrow and Tuesday as by the time we get towards Wednesday, clouds will make their return, seeing mostly cloudy to partly cloudy skies through the end of our week and into next weekend. But you might think, yes, we have cloud cover on Wednesday. We've got to be cooler, right? Not in fact, as we are going to be even warmer than what we are going to be the next couple days, where we could see anywhere between 20 to 25 degrees above our average. And I think Wednesday and Thursday, have the best chance to be breaking a few records. So what's causing this warmth? Well, first and foremost, here's the high pressure that's really been impacting us here as of late, basically this past week, as it has been here for quite a while, and that's given us a lot of sunshine. But that's going to start to make its way off to the east as we head into the latter half of Tuesday and into Wednesday, where a trough, well, that's going to take its place. But what this is going to do, it's going to really shift our winds to be more from the southwest to the northeast, and that's really going to start driving in just so much warm air as we could see winds anywhere between 15 to 25 miles per hour and a few wind gusts up to 30 to 35. In addition to that, I do think we could see a slight rain chance as we head Thursday night into Friday and Thursday afternoon as well. Still quite a ways out, still not entirely certain that it will occur, but that is something we are tracking. But these temperatures, just look at our records as we have a record high of 52 degrees on Wednesday. My forecast, 52 degrees as we head to Thursday and Friday. I think we become within a few degrees within those record highs. So I think a few records are going to be broken this week. 56. Wow. Yes. All right. For February. I feel like late March. Yeah, I know. This is amazing. All right. Thank you, DJ. Coming up in sports from NHL.